So good morning. Good morning. So tell me, who are you and uh, of, of, of which platform are you? My name is Manuel Caire. I come from uh, Moby Park. Moby Park, it's a, uh, it's like Airbnb for parking in uh, the Netherlands and in France. Are you also one of the co-founders of Moby Park? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I'm, I'm one of them. Yeah. So uh, how did you came to the idea of the, of the platform? Basically, my, my, the, the founder, uh, Johan, my, my business partner, he was driving in, in the city center of Paris uh, in France. He was w going to work every day uh, and he couldn't find a, a spot uh, to park his car, basically. And he was getting tickets on the streets. He was, uh, his car was getting towed and he had a little smart, a little car. And then one day he found a friend uh, on the streets and he said, hey, why don't you park in my garage? Just around the corner, down my building. And he went there, he parked his car there and in the morning it was always empty while on the streets with super busy people trying to park. And he, when he was getting uh, his car, when he's uh, getting to, to home, the, the parking was getting full and full. And then he thought, oh, that's a very good business idea. And that's what he started. Okay, cool. And, and, and how, how did he start? Well, basically, he, we started doing some research. Um, we started building the first uh, platform to, to, to find people, to see whether this is a, a good business or not. And then we decided, okay, let's move on. And then we started having the first clients, and then we came to the Netherlands. Then I stayed in the Netherlands, and then we decided, okay, you stay in France, I stay in the Netherlands, let's build a team, and now we are an international startup. Okay, cool. And, and, and uh, uh, when, when, in, uh, in which year did you start? Uh, in the first research, we started doing it in 2012, basically. And we came to the Netherlands at the end of 2013. Okay, and, and how did you manage to, to build the first demand supply uh, uh, balance on the platform? Well, this, this is always a little bit tricky, uh, if, especially in the beginning, because you, of course, need parking and then uh, you, of, you, of course, need drivers. So basically knocking doors, putting flyers here and there, going to the streets, talking to people. We managed to have the first parkings. Uh, and then by the time also we, have the, we managed to have the first, uh, the first drivers into the platform and then, uh, you know, slowly, slowly it start, started uh, growing, uh, growing. And now uh, Moby Park has around 70,000 users in the platform and around 3,000 parking spots uh, in, in these two countries. Okay, and, and you're also active in, 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 in other countries? Well, we have uh, the Netherlands and France for sure, and then we have uh, a few parkings in another country, exactly. We have some parkings at the airport of uh, Germany, in Frankfurt, we have in Vienna, we have in London, uh, and we have in Switzerland also, especially at the airports, because also airports is very difficult to find a, an affordable parking space. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh I do recognize that. <laughs> and um, how many parking spaces are now uh, uh, in your platform, like say in, in, in Amsterdam? Well, in Amsterdam, we have around 200 parkings, park, parking garages, parking from individuals, but also we work with companies. Uh, so for example, we are working with the Marriott Hotel in the Lyse Plan in Amsterdam, and then we have many parking spots in only one location. So what we do, we open the private gates of those companies that have parking capacity but they are close to the public. So in this way, we put more parking spaces, we are able to lower the price, and, um, and we share what it is there in the city that is closed, and then we tell the city, hey, you don't have to build more parking, you don't have to do more infrastructure uh, because there are more cars coming into the city, you just need to use what is there. And we can tell that around 60% of the parking capacity in the big cities in Europe is close to the public. So if we manage to open them, then we can share what we have and then, uh, yeah, we contribute to a better city, basically. And uh, so you're working with with uh, with uh, private people, private parking space, and also with corporate parking spaces. Yeah, exactly. So we, we have in one hand, it's like uh, we call it like Airbnb, because basically, if you have a parking spot only one in your house and you now are in your office, now your house, the parking in your house is empty. Uh, why not to rent it out? Um, and also with companies that are in the city center, or maybe at the airports that are also close to the public. Uh, they have availability sometimes, maybe during the night, maybe during the day. They can also open them up and we offer them also to, to our drivers. So it's a combination between individuals and companies. Okay, and, and, and uh, I, I'm also not checking the website and it, it's uh, what I see is that you can also reservate a parking space, but is it also because uh, you also compare yourself uh, uh, or, or the movements uh, like uh, with Uber, uh, but, they're, but they're more part of, uh, of the on-demand economy. So people are not planning, but they're saying, okay, uh, right now I want to, to go from A to B. So in um, what way are, are people are really planning their uh, a parking place and in what way are people are really doing it on demand? 
That's a very good question. Basically, uh, we, we try to encourage people to make a reservation because two things. First, it allows the parking owner to plan also his, his, uh, his spot. But also, if you plan your trip, then you won't be spending fuel turning around the corner um, looking for a parking spot. Well, we have some research that says that, for example, 30% of the traffic jams in the big cities is caused by someone that is looking for a parking. Now, if you make a reservation in advance, uh, then you avoid this turning and turning, and then you just go straight. This is first point. Um, and the second point is that uh, there are people that also want to just do it right there, especially when you have in the in the company parking, for example, Mario Light Supply. So that's why we build a, a mob mobile application, uh, and then you can just do it there. It's like uh, do a reservation, but maybe five seconds before. It's okay. a, it's a, it's a reservation that gets automatically as accepted. But uh, answering your question, because we have many tourists coming to, to, the, to the cities, uh, usually tourists make a reservation in advance, uh, and that's what we try to encourage, basically. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do want to that. And, and about because you're, uh, you're having, uh, when you're looking at, uh, uh, at your supply side, uh, two different types of targets groups. You've got the, the corporate and the, and the, and the, and the, and the individuals. Um, Looking to uh, because uh, when you look at the, the corporate, they already ha got the, the infrastructure of, of, of parking. So they got the the, the, the gates. They got the, the, uh, probably also the the, the the ticket machines. The private people don't have it, but maybe they they need a key to open the, the, the parking garage. So how do you deal with these two complete different uh, groups of 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 of, uh, of uh, suppliers? So so basically, um, as I said before, because we are targeting, for example, tourists, tourists coming to Amsterdam or going to Utrecht or so on and so forth, also Dutch tourists, but also international t uh, tourists, uh, they made a reservation in advance. So they don't really care if they need to wait a little bit to open the gate or they need to wait for the owner to, to hand the key. That They don't really care because they are on holidays or, or they have some a little bit more time. Now, if you go to city center because you want to have a meeting, we have developed a little machine that we put it at the gates of the, of the car parks, especially for company, because, um, because it has a little cost, it makes sense to put it on those companies. And then when you make a reservation, you receive a six digit code, then you type your code in the gate, and then the barrier opens. So then you don't need the key, you don't need someone waiting for you, nothing. You just type your code in the machine. So we have two different access system. One is like, like Airbnb, you hand the key to the garage to the driver, and the other one is with the little machine. Okay, so you really de uh, developed your own hardware device. Yes, yes. Together with another hardware company, we have uh, developed software and hardware connected to our server and our platform. And what about competition? Because uh, 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 in every sharing brand, uh, uh, platforms are trying to get the global European or, or, or the European market. Like Snapcar is now also getting into Denmark and probably also in, in, in Germany uh, really, really soon. Uh, blah, blah, car. There are also uh, some, some competitors in your own market. I had an interview uh, with Just Park uh, about a year ago. Uh, so are, are, there, uh, are there many competitors? And, 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 and how important is it for you to, to be the, uh, the, the European leader as fast as, as possible? Well, basically, there are competitors. Uh, this is a very good question. We have competitors in, in... By competitors, we mean companies doing similar things to us in the different countries. It doesn't mean that we are competing in the same market at the moment. But of course, in the near future, we will compete either here or if you go to Germany uh, massively. In France, we have, uh, because the market in France is, is way bigger than here, there are around three to four competitors. Uh, all, all of us, a little bit of the same size, maybe we are a little bit bigger because we are in two countries and we offer a different service. But uh, the parking industry is changing. These kind of companies are coming into the market and people are getting used to make reservations and look also for parking, like you look for a flight or a table in advance. So it is changing and we are, we are seeing competitors. And Just Park, as you mentioned, is one of them, but they are located in the UK. So we, we don't compete uh, in a daily basis with them. And uh, why did you make the, the, the decision to, to go, to, uh, because you, start, you started in Paris, why did you make the decision to go to Amsterdam as the, as the second uh, city? There were two, two factors there. One was uh, we always knew that the Dutch people are, are very innovative and they like to take the technology uh, before any other countries in Europe. Uh, maybe in the north of Europe they are also very advanced, but if you compare the north to the south, Dutch people are more advanced in that sense. They like to try new, thing, new things. And the second factor is because we were invited by one of the accelerator programs here in, um, in Amsterdam, which is called Startup Bootcamp. And so then we have these two factors. Okay, let's, let's do it, let's go there, let's see. 
And now we have a very nice market here in the Netherlands, basically. Okay, uh, so, so you also joined the Startup Bootcamp program. Uh, uh, what benefits does it have for you to start uh, to join such a, such, 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 such a program? Well, because we are a uh, we are international international company. Johan, my, my business partner, is, is French. I am Argentinian. We have people from Germany, from from the Netherlands, from India in, in the company. And then uh, we we wanted to see. Okay, let's let's go to the Netherlands. Let's see if the market is ready there. And and basically, the main advantage we got here was as an international company that you don't know the market in detail. Then they help you out. Uh, to make the first steps in, into the market. And that's why it was very helpful for us. If you're a Dutch company, and if you go to these kind of accelerator programs in your company, uh, the, the benefits you will have are in a different fashion. For us, it was more entering into a market. Okay, and, and because our bootcamp is also uh, in different countries, isn't it? Yes, yes. So, and do they also help you to, to get contacts in these other countries uh, uh, besides the Netherlands? Yeah, of course. Uh, Sarah Budka opened the network for, for, for the companies that they, that they hold. Um, and we, of course, have some contacts in different countries. But right now we are focus We need to focus. Otherwise, you want to go everywhere. But if you focus, you're going to achieve more. And we are focusing in these two countries. And next year, we want to open a third one. OK. And do you, all, and do you already know which, which, which one? We are between Italy or, or Spain. We are, we are thinking about it yet. What, what there is, what there is a big pain of parking. We want to be there. It's interesting because uh, 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 earlier you said, okay, we uh, we uh, we went to to, uh, to the more northern countries because they're m uh, uh, easily adapting new technologies. But uh, then 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 it, it, it surprised me that you're going to open the the, the third one uh, in one of the south countries of Europe. Yeah, we we, we discovered in the Netherlands that this technology here, it's uh, people want to use it. You 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 might know uh, apps like. Uh, um, Park Mobile or Yellow Brick, so people are really used to do this kind of thing. So for us, it was a testing market, and then we say, okay, if in the Netherlands people are really using them, then we need to go to those uh, countries like Spain or Italy that the big pain of parking is there, and then we know that the, in the near future they're gonna also acquire this technology because we saw that also in the north. That's that's the logic behind. That doesn't mean that we want to go in the north. It means that uh, uh, we want to go with the big pain of parking is, and Spain and Italy are one of them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, sounds logical. And you're working uh, together with uh, quite some uh, traditional corporate organizations. Uh, most uh, startups I talk to, they really keep far away from the, the corporate organization because they say, okay, they're too slow, they're too big, they, they, they don't make decisions, they are just, okay, they just, yeah, okay, we don't do it. Uh, you are working together with them. So what, uh, so what is your, 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 your uh, experience and, and how do you get those traditional corporate organizations together with your concepts? Well, basically, um, we want to cooperate with them because you might be surprised. Some, some people say they are super slow, but sometimes they're not. They, they have very nice teams, small teams that they want to wanna innovate and they move fast. And, and the way to innovate for, for them is, OK, let's hook up with the startup that is doing this and they're doing well in this field. And let's learn with them and let, uh, let's collaborate, basically, because they also want to innovate. Uh, and they know that the internet and, 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 and doing things with the apps is a new thing. People are, are looking into these kind of things more and more, and that's that's a way they want they want to collaborate with us. Plus, we also offer uh, either revenue streams or, or, or some benefits that they they might consider. And that's why we work with corporates. We we like working with corporates because for us it's a good way to lower the cost of acquisition of our drivers, our customers, and for them it's a good way to innovate. Yeah, I think also maybe because uh, it isn't affecting the core of, of their business. Uh, like a, uh, like a hotel, maybe they won't work together really fast with Airbnb because that, 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 that's their core, and and, and and parking spaces is is, is not the core of the business. It's just a a, a side side business of, of of what they are doing. So maybe that also makes it easier to work together. Yeah, definitely. If we're talking about the hotel chains, what well, the main benefits they have is not only the, not only the, the 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 revenue they get out of the parking is because the parking is not the core business, as you just said. Uh, and what they want is to also offer a, a better brand, more sustainable way of approaching the, the parking and also their business. And Mobile Park helps them also in that other way. Now, when we talk to companies like Rabobank or My Order or uh, Europe Car, where we are also working um, with them, it's not because they don't have parking. It's more like they want to innovate in, in a different way. And that's why we also work with them. Okay, interesting. And, and you're also now running a crowdfunding campaign, I saw. So that's also the link between the previous interview, one another crowd. Uh, so you're so you're now at seventy five seventy five thousand euro, I see. So you want to have 
somewhere between 100,000 to 500,000 euro. So um, what are you going to do with other money? Well, basically, we want to um, we need to improve a little things on our product. We want to offer some loyalty programs to our customers. We want to really uh, come the Moby Park brand and message across these two countries. We want to make it bigger and bigger, and that's why we need these funds. Basically, I want to also hire some specific expertise in the team that we need to to market our product better. Um, we do some research in the sustainability part, so we also need that money in order to move forward with that. Uh, as you said, we want to raise between 100 and 500. Now we are in 75. We launched uh, not even two weeks ago. So for us, is, we are very happy about it. And we also want people to, to collaborate and say, OK, this is a new thing coming into the parking. Uh, we need to share what we have. And, and this is the way to do it. And uh, one of the things interesting, because um, uh, many, many times with, uh, with crowdfunding, uh, you, uh, uh, the biggest part of the money comes from people you already know. Uh, but now you're uh, uh, two guys uh, not from the Netherlands. Uh, you're running on a Dutch platform, also uh, only with Dutch language, and also Dutch payment system, because they're not uh, getting credit cards, and only ideal. So, uh, at what way did you manage to get your investors on board for the crowdfunding campaign? Uh, 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 investors from another country, but also on, uh, on a Dutch platform. Well, we came here in this, uh, November 2013, and we started having the first clients in our platform in April 2014. So we've been doing business from one year and a half, or maybe less than one year and a half. And that allows us also, people know us already in that year and a half, that also help us to, to, uh, to have our own network, and they will, they will lo love to contribute to the crowdfunding campaign. Also, they, they help us to spread the word. And also the, the One Planet Crowd uh, platform also help us to, because they also have some people that want to contribute to the, to the platform. But most important is that if we manage to, to come the message across, people will do it because they need and they want, they, they, they know the sharing is, is a new thing. The, the sharing economy itself is an industry uh, itself. In uh, 2030, it's going to be three, uh, 300 billion market itself with all these five, uh, five segments, parking, uh, sharing an uh, apartment, sharing cars. Um, so that, that's why people are, are keen to, to, to invest in these kind of platforms. Okay, and, 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 and what is your ultimate goal with, uh, uh, with, uh, with Mobile Park? So, so uh, let's say in five years, where are you then? Well, basically, we believe, we believe that people will need to uh, find better solutions in order to spend better, to, to improve the way they spend their time. And people today, they spend every time they look for parking, on average, in the big cities, 20 minutes. So every time you go to the city center, either in Paris, here, or in another big city, you will, you will spend around 20 minutes looking for a spot on the street. So we want to encourage people, don't waste that amount of money, plan before, use different platforms in order for you to spend better time. So we want to help people, first, to be happy and spend less time on parking, and second, we see ourselves as uh, we want to be the first parking platform in Europe in the next five years, basically. So that's, that's, that's the way we see ourselves. And the sharing is a way to do it. And, 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 and looking to the much for, further future, like when all the self-driving cars are, are here. So some say it will be 80 years, some say it will be 80 years. So it's, 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 it's uh, quite a broad time frame. Um, what value will your service then add uh, when the, the cars can park themselves and we don't have to search for anything ourselves? Well, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, the, the cars need, will need to park somewhere, basically, at some point, uh, unless they're running and running the whole time while they wait for, for a customer. So if, they, if that's the case, it's going to be a huge traffic jam. There's going to be more cars on the, on the streets running and running. So at some point, parks will need to park somewhere. And, and in the cities, the infrastructure is already built. And uh, they also can park in our garages. Let's see how this is going to change and let's see how can we help those those cars to 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 help their drivers better okay cool so i wish you good luck with that and uh, thanks for the interview thanks a lot thanks for your time very happy that uh, i'm also in the in the platform thanks a lot